So I started playing football when I was three, and I stopped uh, when I was 17. Engraçado porque o som que joga na Coreia do Sul, ele não fez um dos gols, mas ele entrou na, na partida. Então, uma história dessas. Football transformed my life in many ways. It showed me perspective, and it gives me appreciation for, you know, time. So when I was with my grandfather watching games, and you know, made me appreciate that moment with him. So tell me about yourself. So my name is Luis. I am 22 years old, and I was born in Brazil. <laughs> I remember the first time I remember Brazil playing. It was Brazil and Croatia, and it was either two nil was one zero. I don't remember. It was very foggy. I know Kaka scored, and stop the bin. Beautiful goal, golasso. In 2006, Kaká scores a goal. That's the only... Yeah, I remember I remember that he scores a top of the bin goal. In that squad specifically, they had so many good players, they would put uh, players in different positions. So just so play the best 11. It doesn't matter, it didn't matter positions. You know what, it's, it's funny because uh, the most of the players, it's not like professional. This yeah, club. he was a doctor. Yeah, Dr. doctor. Dr. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I lived in Belo Horizonte mm -hmm. and the Brazilian team trained there bef uh, before the World Cup. I got a ankle injury. I tried to slide tackle in futsal and my feet got stuck in the, in the wood and it <laughs> from being negated to saying no to the coach saying no to you from the moment you go to the field and you can express yourself in the field. Football was more amateur. Yeah. Um, Brazil yeah. team but was yeah, they have people, so talented, but yes, yeah, it was very talent. amateur. People had second mm -hmm. jobs and all of that. Yeah. The most rewarding experience you ever will be. You're gonna learn stuff about yourself that you honestly you would never would know if you didn't play a team sport. <laughs> 